What is going on guys, it's Bucky and welcome to your 8th Premiere Pro tutorial and in this tutorial I'm going to show you guys how to work with keyframes, a huge part of Premiere Pro and especially working with effects. So I know I showed you guys how to apply effects to a video or a picture or a title in the last tutorial, but in this tutorial I'm going to show you guys how to make your effects change over time. So you're saying, alright, why in the world would I want an effect to change over time? Well, let's go ahead and select this clip so we get all the effects that pop up in the effects controls. For example, if we go ahead and expand opacity, we know that 100 means full video and 0 means totally black because it's totally see-through. But if we go ahead and change this over time, we could go ahead and give it the appearance of it fading in or fading out. So that's why we want to be able to work with keyframes because we're basically saying, all right, we want this effect or a certain effect to change over time. So let's go ahead and the very first thing I want to do is add a title at the beginning of my movie. So I'm going to go ahead and select this clip, drag it out, and for the title I'm just going to use this picture. So go ahead, take this picture, drag it onto our timeline, and now I'm just going to go ahead and zoom in and take this video clip and butt it right up against just like that. Now I'm actually going to zoom in a little bit further and let's go ahead and play our movie and see what we got. So for five seconds we got this title, this pretty much is the image just standing there and then pop it goes and starts playing our video. But wouldn't it be awesome if at the beginning of our video instead of just starting out just like that it faded in and then maybe before it got to the main video right here it faded out that would make it look a whole lot more professional so let's go ahead and learn how to do that so go ahead and select the title you just added and guys just go ahead and grab some picture off of google or something if you don't have a title like this and i'm going to show you guys how to work with keyframes specifically the opacity keyframe because that's the most obvious so go ahead and select your title and then the effects controls appear at the top and go ahead and expand opacity and then expand it again and now you see this little bar right here so this timeline is not the timeline for your entire movie this is just the timeline for the duration of the title so zero zero starts at the beginning right here and all the way at the end is five seconds so again it's not your entire movie it's just how long that title appears on the screen so what we need to do is say alright we're gonna make points in time that at that point in time we want to tell you where you need to be opacity wise so since we want to fade it in here's what we need to do go ahead and start at zero zero pretty much the very beginning and we're saying alright at zero zero we want you to be zero opacity totally black just like that and now if you can see a little diamond appears right here so we want to have it fade in at one second or you know sometime around one second so move your current time indicator to one second you can even move this one it really doesn't matter and now we're gonna tell it alright now what we want you to do is at one second we want you to be totally opaque or not see through at all so now as you can see we told it at zero zero to start out totally black and at one second be totally opaque so in between then it's gonna transition just like that and as you can see whenever you make a keyframe it's pretty much a point in time you're telling it to do a certain thing and that's when a diamond appears so you're saying alright that's pretty cool now if you play this video look in the top right when I'm gonna hit space it now fades in and let me go ahead and tell you this in order to move your keyframes you can just go ahead and take this and slide it to the right or left so if I want to make this fade a little longer instead of one second I can go ahead and slide it over to two seconds now instead of my fade taking one second long if I go ahead and hit play it takes two seconds long just like that so now we say alright that's pretty cool but how do we fade out the video well what we need to do is say alright let's think about this for a second if going from zero to one hundred percent fades it in going from one hundred percent to zero would fade it out so go ahead and start around three and a half seconds or something and go ahead and move your time slider just like this where you add a keyframe 
So whenever you move your slider right here, it automatically adds a keyframe, basically because you're changing something. Another way to add a keyframe is just go ahead and hit this little diamond button, and it goes ahead and adds a keyframe if there's not one there already, or if you're on one already, it takes it away. So we can go ahead and do it either two of those ways. So now we got zero, 100%, 100%, and if we go all the way to the end and slide it to zero, then it's gonna fade out. So if we just go ahead and scroll with our time slider, we can see that we're fading in, and then it stays at 100% for about a second and a half, and then it starts to fade out. So that's a much more professional way of working than you know just cutting from scene to scene. So let me go ahead and play the movie as a whole. Fades in, stays, fades out. And again, if we wanna say, all right, the fade in was a little too long, I'm gonna go ahead and shorten that, and the fade out wasn't long enough, so let me go ahead and lengthen that. We can do it just like that. Now I wanna show you guys how to navigate keyframes. Whenever you're working with keyframes, this is a problem that a lot of people have. You're saying, all right, I think I'm over the keyframe now, so I'm going to go ahead and hit this and remove it. Oh crap, I accidentally added another one. So let me go ahead and do this and maybe this. Oh crap, I added another one. What you need to do, whenever you have keyframes already on there, you can navigate them to the previous and next keyframe. So if you want to automatically pop it to this keyframe, just go ahead and hit this and it pops you on that keyframe. So now you can go ahead and remove it or if you want to work with this one just go ahead and hit this right arrow and it will pop you to that one remove it remove remove so that's how you can add subtract keyframes or move left and right so basically the only other things we have to worry about is this velocity which pretty much don't worry about this in the blend mode down here it pretty much says alright if you have something underneath it how it blends with it but basically don't even worry about those I never use them and unless you are making a really weird movie then you don't need to worry about them at all so before I let you go now that I have some extra time I want to show you what I do for my podcast and this is a really cool trick that you guys can use as well so I go ahead and I start with a video clip on track number one and now I pull my title on track number two so what I want to do is I want this title to start out just like this and then I want it to fade in to my video so let's say I want it to start fading out at three seconds and from three seconds until the end I want this title to fade out in my video to appear so my video is underneath my title so we're good to go already so go ahead and select your title and expand the opacity property for it and make sure you're about three seconds into the title right now now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set this to a hundred percent by adding a keyframe now it's stuck at a hundred percent until we change it now at five seconds or the end of the title I'm gonna go ahead and change this to zero so now between three seconds and five seconds it gradually fades into my video pretty cool huh and at the end of my podcast I do the exact opposite I fade the title back in so it's kind of like oh the new Boston check us out my live show or whatever so now if we go ahead and play this check it out it plays in around three seconds it fades in to my video smooth awesome transition so again the only thing you need to remember is these things called keyframes what they are are basically points in time and they're points in time where you tell Premiere Pro alright at this point in time this is what I want the effect to be and it's gonna stay that way until you make a new keyframe and tell it something different so if we want this to fade up we just go ahead and apply a new keyframe and at the beginning apply it just like that so now it'll fade in stay and fade out so there you go hopefully you got a better idea of what a keyframe is and how to work with it and again if you just totally want to reset everything just go ahead and hit this and it's gonna clear all of your keyframes or you can go ahead um, excuse me it's gonna clear the last thing or you can go ahead and just jump the keyframe delete it jump the keyframe delete it 
and delete all of your keyframes until you are totally cleared out. So that's all I have for you for this tutorial. Thank you guys for watching. Hopefully you got a better understanding of what keyframes do. Again, not only opacity, but you can do this whenever you're fading in volume. Um, if you you know you want to bring in a song and you want it to start out quiet and get louder and louder whenever you're bringing in a different effect other than opacity again they all are the exact same so thank you for watching don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video